Hey, what's going on people? Right here, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little quick little fence repair using only basic tools. The most advanced tool I use here is the drill to uh, test the 2x4s and the pickets. This job was a pretty simple one. The fence blew over, so I had to replace that whole little section. It was probably like about 7 feet maybe. 8 feet at the most, can't remember. I started off, you know, digging out the old posts after I took all the other fence off and it wasn't much concrete in there as you can see, but it was it was in there pretty good. Uh, just digging, using a post hole digger with a simple tool. Some people like to use augers. Once I did that, I used my flat bar and wedged it in the wood and pulled it right on out, which was easy. Set a new post, make sure it was, you know, deep enough for me to be able to to uh, you know stick it in there without having to cut the, the post so digging do a little bit more digging you do a little bit more digging you should be at least two feet down that way you can stick it in there and uh, submerge it with the concrete so got a bag of quick creek real inexpensive at Home Depot and uh, just put it in the in the post hole and Start uh, messing with it, going around, 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 so it can set up real good and get, you know, evenly dis distributed, rather than, you know, getting the wheelbarrow out and mixing it then pouring it. It's, you know, something a little easy that you can do with all the extra dirt that I had. I just put it over the top, mixed it in with the concrete and some water, and put more concrete on top of it, you know, picking at it so it can, uh, water can get in and out of that now you just you know fill fill up the hole uh, right here I'm just measuring out making sure that you know it's six feet because that's the size of the fence that is supposed to be six feet then I measured out for the railings and so I measured out that I just put the top one on just to see where it was at because it don't have a little bit of movement once you put the top rail in, you see that <laughs> the bottom rail in. See the top rail and fell off as the pole switched off a little bit because it wasn't fully dried, but that's fine because it'll draw right on up. So make checking for level, hammering it in, make sure it's in the right spot so everything can go according to specifications. Not really hard. You need a hammer. You know, little small basic tools and anybody can fix uh anybody can repair a damaged fence you know i mean if you really you know on a budget and you can't hire a handyman or a fence contractor you got some little tools running around and you can take care of it yourself all you have to do is just buy the material material wasn't expensive i think it was probably like around 60 bucks for the pickets railing and the, the concrete and the uh exterior screws so I had to make a little blocking right there because once I put the bottom railing in, the top railing was just maybe off like maybe like 3 sixteenths of an inch. Now you just hang your pickets. Make sure you don't get extra long screws for the picket handle. I got one in five eight exterior screws. One's with a star bit in it. So it drill in really good and really fast. So now I'm just hanging the pickets and uh job will be done real quick it won't take that long of course i speeded it up a little bit <laughs> but yeah it's it's not really hard uh anybody with basic handy skills and you know basic tools can can do a job like this especially for your average homeowner if you don't really have a couple hundred bucks that's what it's gonna cost to have somebody come out and repair your fence if you don't feel like you know you want to sh shell out that much cash then just pay for the materials and take care of it for yourself. So I'm putting two up and the top two at the bottom. You know, sometimes fences have three railings, but this style of fence that they that they have only have two railings. I like the three railings because it's more stable. Uh, the ones with the two railing system they they fail a lot quicker than than uh, the ones with the three. And then certain areas have certain codes that you gotta follow, so. But, 
I'm just doing this just like it is because that's what I was paid to do. Uh, homeowner. Uh, I did work for the homeowner before and uh, she owned two or three different rental houses. So this is a rental house. So, you know, you got to get these. Once they happen, you got to hurry up and go knock it out because that can eventually cost the homeowner money. So I'm going out there doing it for them get it taken care of i did get to meet the tenant and uh, he was pretty cool even though he was asking me to do some extra stuff that the homeowner was did wasn't talking about paying me to do but i do it if they want me to come back and do it <laughs> but yeah it's pretty straightforward the uh, only the worst part about this is it was outside and and takes it heat it's like right next to the sun if you're like if you live in, in Texas you know what I mean so getting these piggies in I'm almost done yeah soon I'll be done here soon so more of the story is it's pretty easy anybody could do it like I said if you got basic handy tools and uh, little basic handy skills and you can get this taken care of easily uh, for not a lot of money but yeah not at home the tenant is gonna come over and <laughs> check it out he just happy that you know the fence is getting up getting put back up because it's probably like a day or so you know they got small dogs and then like, i guess think the neighbor have a dog as well so you know nobody coming in and out of your fence he talking to me right now <laughs> really cool guy uh, he did offer me some water and uh, a napkin. I mean, hey, little things, little things count. So, I'm knocking this out. Yeah, like I said, it's fairly easy. I mean, if you have a nail gun, an auger, a pole jack, you can go a lot quicker. But something this small, you don't need to bring out all the big tools. Uh, I do have a nail gun, but it's not suitable for this it's I mean, it is a frame manila but then you i still will i still will have to do something with the pickings yeah that water is mighty fine right about now because <laughs> it was so hot outside i'll tell you that much over there so yeah putting on the last few pickets clean up got a dumped old fence i didn't show that in the thing but uh yeah that's what it is pretty simple and straightforward easy to do and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video